this is Brandon. Today we're going over a quick video on creating dispositions for calls that occur on our system and assigning them to campaigns of our choice. Let's start by clicking on campaigns module to the left and choosing dispositions and add disposition. Here's a disposition screen where you can easily see all of the dispositions assigned into our system. They're going to be broken down into the campaigns they apply to. If you want a disposition to appear in all campaigns, you will have to build it in all campaigns. Let us create a couple dispositions just to show how easy it is. Simply click on the gray bar underneath our headers. We will have to choose a campaign or assign it to all campaigns. For this first example, we're going to assign it to all campaigns. Next is naming our disposition as it appears to our agents. We will mark whether the disposition is going to be callable again by the campaign's various dialing modes. If we would not like the disposition to be called again, we can leave this blank. For our disposition example, we're going to leave it blank. A common disposition you would have callable again is answering machine or not available. We have the ability to redial after a certain number of resting days. After those days have passed, the disposition will be assigned back into the automatic dialing cache along with all your other callable dispositions. Is final is an option that should only be used if you are wanting that disposition data to become locked on that particular customer record. Any further dispositions chosen by agents for that customer will not change the disposition in the system. Popular use for this is do not call dispositions. You can give more of a description for your disposition here. Moving along, we need to choose the type of call this was for the disposition. We have the options of no connect, connect, contact, and lead appointment cell. No connect is a call that you would get some kind of line error that the phone number is no longer in service. Connect would be you got a hold of an answering machine, for example, but did not speak with the customer. Contact would be any disposition in which you actually spoke with the person you were trying to reach. Lead appointment sale is obviously your conversions for your call center. Choosing this disposition is very important because it will reflect on all of your reporting throughout the system. In our second example, I will create one of these dispositions. Next is where you want the location for the agent to choose this disposition. The default location is in the disposition windows, which is the drop-down choices the agents have when they are choosing their dispositions. You also have the left menu where it will have a quick click button for your agents. Break code, which would convert this disposition into a custom break or paused reason, can be assigned here. The disposition would no longer apply to customers, but reasons your agents went on break. And the last choice is hidden, which would allow for the disposition to exist, but not be available to the agents. This opens up possibilities for advanced scripting and integrations a business may require. We can choose a shortcut key combination here to quick disposition a call for your agents. You have the ability to assign the order in which your dispositions appear to your agents from top to bottom. Lastly, we have our icon loader. You can upload a small image to appear with your disposition when using the location left menu. We will hit enter and we will build our first disposition which you can see here. Notice the X marks at the end of each disposition. We have the ability to delete them if we want, however this will affect reporting. I am going to create one more disposition for a campaign we built in a latter video. Let me click back on the gray bar name our disposition. For this example, we don't want it to be callable again automatically by the campaign. And we will choose type as sale lead appointment. And hit enter. And there you have it. Easy disposition creation in Chase Data's cloud software admin app. That is going to conclude our video today. Please stay tuned for more videos in the future from Chase Data and thank you for watching.